So what's going on today? This is a first. We had a corn snake surrendered to us about five, wait, I have the date, hang on. Surrendered to us uh, five days ago, actually. And she is 10 plus years old. Her name is Moonstone. We don't know much about her, except she must have been paired with a male. Yeah. Cause she laid fertile eggs. She's beautiful. Moonstone, you're such a good mom. Yeah, you laid eggies that we weren't even expecting. No, they're a little <laughs> denty, but... Yeah, she, when we noticed her laying yesterday, she definitely still had some more in her. And, I mean, she doesn't have a lay box because we weren't even thinking she was gravid. No, why would she be gravid? She surrendered to us. <laughs> right. So we just pushed her bin back in and left her be to finish laying her eggs. And so now we actually have to check. Did you get them all out? I don't, I'm not familiar with you, Missy. You're very pretty. And yep, it does look like she got all the eggs out. So. She's just a normal morph? Just, yeah. I mean, she's got a cool stripe, but I, I think she's a normal. However, we don't know if she's het something or what she was True. paired with. So we have no idea other than the fact that they should hatch out into corn snakes. Yeah. I don't know what they're going to look like Watch. other than that. They're going to come out as rattlesnakes. Oh yeah, they probably will. Het rattlesnake. <laughs> yes. She thinks she's het rattlesnake and the yep. male she was bred to was probably. also... Pet rattlesnake. That's how that works, right? Probably, yeah. So one in four should be rattlesnake. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'll put these surprise uh, corn snake eggs into incubation. Okay. All I could find was just this little container. I think it'll work. I don't know. Oh man, that's a lot of eggs though. I bet I can fit them. Oh yeah, I think you can fit it. I think they'll fit. Let me add some water and see what we what we can do. All right. Since these are a bit indented, I'm gonna try to nestle them in a little bit more than usual to try to rehydrate them. bull snake eggs which are much bigger. These are so tiny. I feel like my fingers are just oversized. Oh no, I'm gonna have to put these two in like sideways in order for them to fit. How about that? Look at that! That'll do! Perfect! Let me get them a little Nestled, a little more nestled in here. I think that'll work. Hopefully they kind of plump back out. Okay, so we have, what was it, 11 eggs? Uh, yes. That's an interesting number Two, of four, eggs to six, be. 8, 10, 12, 13 eggs. Wait, how did you count 11 the first time and 13 the second know. time? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, yes. Because I'm really good at counting. You must be. I learned my ABCs and 1, 2, 3s. Uh huh, that's why I went to private school. That's what Sesame it got Street. you, huh? <laughs> All right, so the next thing we have to do is actually mark the top part of the eggs. Our theme for this clutch of corn snake eggs is gonna be cereal because a lot of cereal is corn based. Yes. Ta-da, how about that? There we go. Okay, that's <laughs> what we're going with. So I am going to use the color red because I know red seems to be f fine for eggs, but we are still testing that color orange. So I'm not gonna use other colors in this clutch, but let's see. First cereal that comes to my mind is Cheerios, Cheerios, of course. okay. And then... <laughs> I bet I can guess what this one is. You think you know? Is it Fruit Loops? Fruit Loops, yes. <laughs> Cheerios and Fruit Loops, essentially the same thing. <laughs> Pretty much. Can you guess this cereal? The Frosted Flakes? Nope. It comes with raisin these. Raisin Bran? Yeah, Raisin Bran, that's the raisin. Okay. Okay, how about... Frosted that? Flakes? Frosted Flakes, yes. How about that one? It's supposed to be yellow. Corn Pops? Yeah, Corn okay. Pops! You could do Rice Krispies. It's not corn based, oh, but nice. <laughs> yes. Rice Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a lot of cereal looks the same huh. when you draw it. Yes, it does. How about this one? I'm using, I think, the wrong color for it. But... Is that supposed to be yellow? No. Well, I don't know. It's supposed to be a marshmallow from Lucky Charms. Oh, Lucky Charms. Okay, yeah, yeah that's okay. what I was going with. Too. All right, perfect. Okay, since I can only use black and red, let's see if you can tell what this one is. Macaroni. Yes, the macaroni salad, or salad, cereal. There, how about that? Pretend no the black idea. is green. Tricks! Is it, what is that? What it's flavor? The water, it's the watermelon tricks. Oh, okay. Duh. How about this one? Kinda. Pillow. Uh, it's supposed to be Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, I can see that. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Can you guess this one? Aha! Is it Cheerios? It's apple flavored Cheerios. Oh, Apple Jacks, okay. Yeah. How about that one? Uh, it's cinnamon 
Yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Rolls. The oh, little okay. cinnamon roll cereal. That's more wow. of a dessert than actually a breakfast item. How about this? Ta -da. Ball. Ball, yes. Or Reese's Puffs. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then how about, I'm gonna try this. I need more colors to really make it work. But let's see if you can guess it. Pretend it's a rainbow of colors. Is it the, the one that has the bedrock people on it? Yes, Fruity Pebbles! Fruity Pebbles, yes. Nice! <laughs> Ta-da! Our cereal-themed clutch from the corn snake. Uh, I guess her name, what was it? Moonstone? Moonstone. All right. Moonstone Moon. and question mark. Yeah, pretty much. And question mark laid on five. Oops, I think that's the wrong way for it, no, too. Right. Oh, it was? Okay. Hooray! Random corn snake eggs from Adoption Island Snake. So I guess before we put those in the incubator, we should probably do the next set of eggs, too, right? There were two clutches late today. All right. Yes, we also have... Audrey's eggs. Aw, Audrey gave us eggs. Yeah, we bought her at our very first Tinley years and years ago. Oh, really? Yeah, we tried breeding her last year and it didn't work out, but it looks like little this year. Uh oh. I, think I see a bunch of pearly whites. Yeah, she already left the lay box. Oh, she looks so mad. Yeah, she does. <laughs> Did she get them all out? Um, oh, yeah. Let's see. Yep, looks like it. Sweet. Okay, she is empty. Good job, Audrey. And these eggs look good. Yeah, they do. Who, wow. did, who was Audrey paired with? I don't remember. Hold that thought. All right, while Emily tries to figure that out, I'm going to move these eggs over here and move this up here and try to do this all one-handed by myself. Eh, eh. It's also really hard to see how much is going in with depth perception through a phone. That's good. We do this and then we do eh. Grab this and then we dump it in. Oh, depth perception work. Okay, here we go. And then we just mash it. I think that's what Emily does. And then Emily's back. That was here. No, Love me. No, no, Love go me. away. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Let's see, does it pass the clump test? Probably not. Oh. We... It does. It doesn't drip, but we have a bit of pooling. Actually, not too much pooling water down there. I think I can make that work. That'll yeah, be fine. Just keep them on the surface. They're yep. hog nose eggs. Exactly. All right. Who was she paired with? She was paired. That's right. This is exciting. She was paired with Bueller, who is an albino oh. conda. Bueller's We're... down here, right here, up here. Oh, Bueller, where are you? <laughs> We're recording Emily's stomach right now. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> Bueller, I don't see you. Look, it's Emily. Oh, hi. Uh, oh, there he is. I see him. Ah. You guys get to see the hand cam <laughs> of what happens when I pull that bin out. Okay, there we go. That's what it's like to be Ed's right hand during the daytime. <laughs> this is Bueller. He is a beautiful albino conda phase hognose. Ooh. And the way the conda gene works is it's kind of a pattern reducing gene, but the snake needs to have the conda gene from both parents in order to be completely patternless. Oh, and she's het albino. Yeah. <gasps> we could get albino super condas. Nice. It's a yes. low chance, but we could get it. We could get yeah, depending on how many eggs there are and how many chances we have. Yeah. Oh. Two, four, six, eight, oh. ten, oh my gosh. twelve? Wow. wow. Okay, we have actually a semi-decent chance. That's a chance. pretty decent chance. We yeah. should get two. Half of the babies should be albino. And um, all the... No. All of them will be... Con no, one out of four will yes. be normal. One out of four will be super. Two out of four will two be... Two out of four will be conda. Yeah. So we have a two... Three? No. There is a chance that we could get an albino superconda. Two super or conda. three, if I can do it in my head properly, that we should get an albino superconda. I don't know. Someone used the morph calculator. Maybe We've been working one too and much a half. Today. I think it's a one and a half chance. Okay. Well, like of these eggs, one and a half yeah, should be albino superconda. Yeah, one and a half should be albino super. Conda. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, great. Right, I'll take him. All right. Let's set up these eggs. Oh, these eggs look great. They can just sit like almost right on top. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to like somewhat cushion them just to make sure they don't roll. But that's really all I need from the perlite is some support from the sides. I love how hog noses don't do anything with sticking their eggs together. No, they just scatter them. They just go, eh. They're just careless parents and sometimes they eat the babies. Yeah. So... If well, uh, snakes were parents, hog noses would be the worst ones. If you pooped out food, would you eat it? Oh, I wonder. I probably would. Yeah, you probably would. I don't know if I could bring myself to it, but it would depend on how tasty it was. <laughs> so I mean, it's not like it's poop, it's food. That's right. Yeah, if you pooped out pizza. If, yeah, oh, if pooped out pizza, I would never leave house. Yeah, then uh, there would no, there would be no population on Earth if yeah. you pooped out pizza. Anyway, the conversations that we sometimes have are probably concerning to some parents out there. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, okay, everybody in the comments, if you pooped out your favorite food, would you leave the house ever? I don't <laughs> think so. Would you eat your poop? Would you eat your poop? <laughs> Question of the day. Yeah. 
Only at Snake Discovery. <laughs> wow, those all look good. Those look great. That one's a little funky, but... I don't think it's a slug, though. Okay. It, it's calcified enough that I think that's a good egg. It is kind of odd how it's sluggy colored on this side. It could be from the moss, too, because that one was sitting in the moss yeah, quite a bit. I think that one was just dyed by the moss, so I think that one's okay. But, I mean, right. they're all separated, so if one goes bad, it can be easily removed. So, next, we have to mark the top of the eggs. All right, I'm not sure how Emily got to this, but we're doing clothing. That's going to be our theme, is clothing, because we're running out of ideas. <laughs> and by the time these egg videos come out, since we've gotten so many eggs in such a short amount of time, by the time they all roll out and you guys give us more ideas we'll have already had all the yeah. eggs that and we're expecting this year speaking of clothing you can buy this beautiful snake Dis <laughs> snake discovery noodle fam shirt at snakediscoverystore.com become part of the snake discovery noodle fam snakediscoverystore.com it feels so weird to say that kind of stuff oh my god okay let's ignore that that happened and come back to these eggs <laughs> How about we start with the basics? Underwear or a shirt. That's not really basic. Yep, shirt. And then we have to do pants. Now you have to do shorts. Because you're wearing pants, but I'm wearing oh, shorts. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Shorts. Okay, now underwear. Tidy whitey is like what Ed wears. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I wear. <laughs> I like the constriction feeling. <laughs> Boxer briefs. Okay. That's what they look like, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't wear them. Close enough. Yeah, bra. How do like I do bra. straps? Just straight up like that? Yeah, you, well, that looks good enough. Marker got wet there, so yeah. ignore that. All right, we'll speed through the rest. Okay, um. so we have shirt, pants, shorts, tidy whities boxer briefs, a bra, shoe, dress, skirt, sock, Sweatshirt and a belt, even though it looks like a sword. That's supposed to be a belt. It does look like a sword with yeah. little spots at the mm -hmm. end. Yeah, it works. <laughs> All right. Cool. Look at that. Awesome. Audrey's first egg. Yeah. I stole this container from the clean dishes bin, so That's fine. I couldn't find any others. We if might. They be... stole it from you first, in oh, all fairness. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. Nope, that's a B. That's a B. Oh, B. Oh, okay. B odd. <laughs> Audrey and Bueller. Bueller. All right. Five. Twenty. Okay. Awesome. Should we throw both of them in the incubator together? Double clutch going in at the same time. All right. Oh. Two. Oh my god. We're gosh. getting this filled up too. Yeah, we sure yeah, are. Yeah, no, we still got quite a bit. We're not filling this thing up. Nah, I doubt we There's ever so filled. much space. I'll just put them both right there. Perfect. There, do they have ventilation? Yeah, they both have ventilation in. Yeah, we're good. Awesome. Okay. We're gonna have so many babies this year. Oh gosh, it's there's gonna so be so sweet. So many eggs in here. I can't wait in different species too. Oh man. Audrey. Oh, you're so skinny now. Oh, and everything's so bare. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Her lay box took up most of the space, yeah. so we'll have to give her back some enrichment again. Yep. Oh, Audrey. Now it's our job to make you a mom. Yep, and then we're gonna feed you lots of treats. Yes, because you did lose some weight, which is normal. Yes. But still, she did lose some weight laying those eggs. Oh, cool. I've been looking forward to her breeding for a long time. Yes. Maybe we'll get some super condos. Well, for like six, seven years. Yeah, she's actually, she was a slow grower, but yeah. she's finally there, guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the surprise corn snake eggs and our not surprise, but still equally as exciting, Audrey the Hognose eggs. Aww, good thank job, Audrey. Thank you, Patreon backers, as always. And baby snakes are on the way. And baby snakes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's all over the place. Oh, yeah, he is.